What's up, guys? Today we are going to make another game, and today we are making this game. It's going to be a shooter game where we can shoot zombies and upgrade our guns and open the shop. But so this tutorial, we are looking at movement and our shooting mechanism. We will cover the zombies in future tutorials, like in part two, probably. And the shop probably part three and yeah. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we are going to make a new project. Okay, so I'll call this project shooter game. And I'll call this player. So first, let's get our sprites done. Let's delete the costume too, and delete the scratch cat. So in here, I'm going to pull up a sprite from my back backpack. And we want to make sure the head of our player is centered, not the body. So this way, we are turning from the head instead of the middle. So it looks a lot more realistic. So let's create a new sprite and call it bullet. So this is what we are going to be shooting out from our gun. So I will just make a simple bullet right here. I'll make it yellow. That and just a simple small rectangle like that. So let's go into our player sprite. And... Let's do a one green flag is clicked. So when green flag is clicked, forever point towards mouse pointer. So as you can see, it just points towards the mouse pointer. Okay, so now we are going to put a F key pressed. So if key up arrow is pressed, then we'll just move three steps. So what it, this is basically doing is if the key up arrow is pressed, then it's <clears throat> moving the player three steps. And as you can see, we are steering because it's pointing towards the mouse pointer. Okay, so we got our movement done. So now we want our shooting mechanism. First, let's drag in another one green flag is clicked. We want to make another one green flag is clicked because if we put it in this event, then it will ruin our movement code. So make sure it's in another one green flag is clicked. So after that, we'll put a forever loop if mouse down. So if we're clicking, then we'll create the clone of the bullet. And let's put a delay. I'm going to say 0 0.5 seconds. So let's go into our bullet sprite and do a when green flag is clicked. We're going to put a hide and a go to back layer. Then let's do a forever loop and say go to x, y. So go to x, see this block over here, backdrop of stage. So go to, change the stage to player. So go to the x position of the player. And duplicate that and we'll change this to the Y position of the player and after that we'll put a point in direction direction of player so change this to player and change this to direction so as you can see you can't see it because I put a hide over there but if I take these out and I show it I need to put in the front layer so if I put this in the front layer then as you can see it is pointing towards the mouse pointer but actually it's pointing in the direction of the player and it's at going always at the player because we put a forever loop around that so let's put this back over there so do a when I start as a clone. 
When I start the clone, we'll put a a show, and then a repeat until loop. So what this is going to do, it will move 12 steps until it, it's touching the edge. So let's do that. Put a move 12 steps inside the repeat loop and put the touching edge inside that um, space right there. So change that to edge. And after that, we'll put a delete this clone. So as you can see, if we click, we are shooting now. which is exactly what we want. As you can see, it's also going in front of the player because I forgot to change this to back. So let's change it to back and we are shooting right now. So our shooting mechanism is working perfectly and we'll cover the zombie stuff in the next tutorial. So that's all for today and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace out.